What server has dinosaurs, the butt plug, and a dilo church? Why, Mosacraft, of course, but there's just one problem. The server's modded, and I know what you're thinking. Moza, how does one join the chaos? Well, soon to be Mosacraft slave, I'm glad you asked. Because basically, I'm gonna be showing you how to join Mosacraft. So basically, the first thing you have to do is go into the video description- Oh, and, uh, d d ignore that, you, d you didn't have to see that. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is go down to the description and click on the WinRAR download link. Don't worry, I have all the links you guys need down in the description. And once you're at this page, you're gonna wanna click on which version is right for your computer. So in my case, I have 64-bit, and that's gonna pop up with these steps, but we're just gonna run the installer. And of course, you install it wherever you wanna install. This you just leave alone, click OK, and now you should have WinRAR. This is gonna help you extract the mods later. Next, we're gonna be going to curse forge curse forge is what's going to allow us to open up minecraft with our mods so we're just going to download for windows or mac depending on what you use and just run the installer and once it's fully installed just go to your search bar look up curse forge and it should be right there we got another thing right here all right the next thing let's go <laughs> and now the last thing we got to download is the mozageddon mod pack this is a zipped folder so google's gonna freak out when you download it but not to worry we're just gonna download it anyway except all of those viruses it's okay guys there's no viruses just trust me just trust Mosa, just trust me, please. And once it's done downloading, unlike the other ones, we are not gonna click that. Instead, we're gonna go to wherever it downloaded, in my case, uh, here in the, in the downloads. And then we're gonna right click to extract files with WinRAR. In this case, I'm just gonna extract the files here. And there we go, we just, they just popped up right here. Keep these here for now, they're gonna be important. Okay, now we're gonna go back to CurseForge and make ourselves a mod pack. After we choose Minecraft as our game, we're gonna create a custom profile up here, and we're just gonna call this, I don't know, the MosaCraft. I wonder who made that great name. <laughs> and the Minecraft version has to be 1.12.2. That's important. It has to be like that. The mod loader can just be whichever one's the latest. Just just let CurseForge figure that out. I'm too stupid for that. And now that we have our MosaCraft mod pack, we can right click view profile and this is where we can upload our mods in order to open up our mods we're gonna click on these three dots up here open folder and another folder is gonna pop up over here with mods and another json file but we're not gonna mess with that we're gonna open up the mods folder and then we're gonna go back to our downloads folder or wherever we extracted our uh, other mods and we're gonna select them all and drag them in here. And once you do that, you should see all 12 mods just pop up over here. Every once in a while, it will get a little buggy and it won't upload all 12. It'll like say 10 or 11 or something. Just delete the mods that are in that folder and try copying them over again. It's really weird. Just do it until you see the 12. But that's about it. Once you do that, you should be able to click play. The Minecraft launcher will open up. It'll yell at you for running some mods, but we're just gonna accept the risks and whatever. If I get a virus, I get a virus. Again, that's a joke, guys. You're not gonna get a virus. Just please trust me. And it works. Despite this being a tutorial, I was half expecting it not to, not gonna lie. Alrighty, and after you set the screen to full screen, because the other one just looks nasty, you're gonna go into multiplayer, and then you'll be sent to this screen with nothing on it. But to make it a little bit more exciting, go to add server, and of course we know what we're gonna call this server. <laughs> And then you're just gonna copy and paste the server address, which is of course this fancy thing right here. Again, it's in the description. Now we're gonna click done. And then you should have this fancy thing up there. And now you can just click play and everything should run smoothly. And lo and behold, I'm alive. By the way, this server does have a couple other cool things, so I'm just gonna show you those really quick. This server actually does come with the option to add shaders, so if you want to view your Dilo dog in all of its glory, you can just come to this tab over here and uh, click on shaders folder, and then you can just drag your shaders into the thing. And just like that, if we go back in game, you should see something cool. You just click on that new thing, it'll lag out your PC, oh god. And after a really big lag spike, you should have really fancy- yep. Really fancy shaders. Now doesn't that look nice? And the other cool thing this server has is land claims. So let's say you're really passionate about something. This Mosasaur skeleton, for example. You love it more than anything in the whole world, so you want to do everything in your power to protect it. Well, my friend, I can help you with that. When you press E to go into your inventory, you'll see some fancy things over here. You won't see all of them because I'm an admin and I could kind of set the time tonight. Oh god, but you will see this map that says claim chunks, and when you click on that, you'll be able to see all the cool things that people have claimed. But before you start claiming things, you have to click on my team, and start making a team with members. As you can see, my team actually consists of nobody, but that's okay, we don't, we don't have to talk about that. But once you create a team, you can finally go to a chunk where you like, and just, you know what, you could just be like, oh, I, I want this part, I want this part right here. And now once you claim that land, if you step out of it, you'll be able to see wilderness, and if you step back in, 
you'll see, oh, there's Mr. Moses' land. Of course, it'll say, like, your land or, or whoever. Or even whatever message you want. It's all customizable, which is the awesome thing. And, of course, you can even set it so that people can't destroy what you're trying to build, which is even cooler. So, yeah, that's how you claim... Oh my god, no! So basically, that's about it. So guys, I really hope you enjoy the server. And if I don't see you later, I hope I see you in Mozacraft. Bye for now.